Welcome to Cavalda Studios, I'm Chris. Give yourself 10 minutes to feel better, release tension and improve mobility with simple upper body foam roller exercises. We will also use a tennis ball, so let's get started. begin with the upper back so have the roller across your mat feet are on the floor knees bent so we want to always protect that low back we're going to lean back so the shoulder blades are pressed against that foam roller fingertips behind the ears elbows wide and we're going to lift the hips and we're going to roll to the top of the shoulder blades and then to the bottom of the shoulder blades Massaging out the upper back. Then we're going to pull the elbows in, tuck the chin slightly, bring the fingertips behind the head, and then roll again. Getting the muscles along that spine. Again, continuing to breathe as you slowly roll. One more. And then find the middle of those shoulder blades, and then we'll lower the hips and open up those elbows, supporting the head and the neck so it doesn't fall backwards. We're gonna walk the feet and knees all the way together. And we're gonna start with the left. So you're gonna drop your knees to the left side, then start to roll to your left side, going towards your left armpit. Now, if you're missing lymph nodes, this is where you wanna be aware of how far you go into the armpit and that lymphatic drainage area. If you are missing them, you would just stay back on the, roll, on the shoulder blade and rock side to side and up and down. If you are good to go, you can go all the way into that armpit. There might be some tender spots in there. It could get pretty tight with the way the muscles attach and go underneath there and up over the shoulder. And then maybe rolling towards that chest wall. If it's very painful, then press more weight into your elbow on the floor, so when the one that's supporting your head, the opposite arm on the right arm on top is behind the ear and just pulling that elbow backwards and forwards, keeping the elbow bent, engaging that core as you go, pulling that belly into the spine. Now we're gonna roll forward towards that armpit again. This time you're gonna take your right hand, reach it over the back of your head so you can now hold your head with your right hand as you extend the left arm out in front, like way out from the roller. So you're just straightening it out, extending it from the body. You're on that armpit and do a gentle, keeping the arm, left arm straight, lift and lower, lift and lower. Just a very gentle lift and lower as you press into the armpit and lift and lower that arm. So just getting into those tender spots if it's too intense, just rest on it. You don't have to lift and lower that arm. We have two more. And then we're gonna bend that left elbow, place the hand back underneath the head, release the right arm, reach it behind you, roll all the way back onto those shoulder blades. Both fingers behind the head, open up that chest. You're leaning into the roller with the shoulder blades and your hips are on the floor. Lengthen the spine, just feel that chest opening up. We're really gonna get some mobility in the upper body today. Walking the feet and knees back together. Drop those knees to the right. Now we're slowly gonna to start to rotate to the right, placing that right elbow on the floor. So now you'll see the back side as we go, left arm still supporting the head as we rock towards the armpit and then back towards that shoulder blade, that right shoulder blade. Same thing goes on this side. If you are missing lymph nodes, you would stay back and just rock it side to side. Maybe it's just one side you're missing them. Or roll up and down, staying in that shoulder blade. Otherwise, you can go forward all the way towards that chest wall and then bring it back into that shoulder blade, back towards that chest wall. And adjusting the pressure of the body weight that feels comfortable so you're not getting any zingers or nerve pain shooting up into the shoulders. Rock and roll, a couple more. And then we're gonna rock forward, pausing right there on that armpit, 
Take your left arm over the head, support your head so you don't have any neck strain. Reach your right arm straight out away from the body above that roller. You're leaning into that armpit and then a gentle, keeping that right arm straight, lift and lower it, tap the floor, lower back down, lift and lower. Now if this is super intense and you have a hard roller, you can always throw like a thin towel Fold it up a few times and that can help soften if you need to have um, a little more gradual pressure on that area to loosen things up. When I first started, there was no way I could do this. I was so tight, so I had to start with the softer roller and build up to the harder roller. Slowly release. Bring your right hand back behind your head, left fingertips behind your ears. We're going to rotate all the way back onto those shoulder blades again. Fingertips wide behind the ears so we're supporting the neck, feet flat. Let's lift the hips and roll again from the shoulder blades down to the top of the shoulder blades and up to the bottom, down and up, down and up. I'm saying it backwards, but that's all right. You know what I mean. One more roll. And then pull the elbows in, tuck the chin into the chest, press your forearms into the roller, and then lift yourself all the way up. We're going to straighten out the legs, and then just a couple shoulder rolls, and let your head move side to side. Feel how that is. Hopefully it feels really good, and you're getting a nice blood flow to the brain. Now we're going to use our tennis ball. So we're just going to move that roller out of the way behind us. So you're going to take that tennis ball, massaging out the left side of the chest, little circle. Now we're going to locate any of those trigger points, those tender spots, so just a little pressure if you find one, and pause on that spot. Just hold the tennis ball still, then take that left arm out to the side, and you're going to circle the arm as you're pressing into that tender spot. Not pressing hard, just enough that you can start to feel it releasing with the arm moving. It's all connected. Then we're going to change direction. So you're going to go both directions. Circle one way, then change direction. Also find another spot. Move over wherever it is and then circle again. We can always find them. Our chest is very tight most of the time from our lifestyle. Sitting at a desk, Circle the opposite way. Maybe you drive a lot, working on the computer, maybe from lifting weights, working out, whatever sport you play, other direction. So just continue moving that tennis ball and finding those tender spots, holding the tennis ball on those, that spot and circle that arm. You can always come back and continue practicing this. We're going to go to the other side. So you're going to take it on the uh, right side, and then we're going to draw circles. So just gently pressing, circling it around both directions again. And then find that trigger point. As you find it, press into it gently. Lift that right arm up and draw big circles. Circle it around. You might feel some snap, crackle, pop. You might feel some releasing in the shoulder because it's all connected all the way into that pec muscle, changing direction. Maybe find a new spot. Press into that tender spot, but not too hard. You don't want to hurt yourself. And change direction of the arm. And then another spot. And just move it around. See what you have going on. Circling that arm. You want it to feel pretty good, not painful. If, you're, if it's super painful, you're probably pressing too hard. One more. And again, you can always go back and repeat, and then we're going to release. So go ahead and set that tennis ball to the side. Now we're going to bring the roller onto our mat longwise. So when you bring it longwise, we're going to sit up at the end of our roller, nice and tall and your tailbone is on it, and you want to make sure there's space behind you so when you lay back, your head is on the roller. full back of your head is supported on the roller now. 
and there is no tension in the neck. You can really feel everything being supported. Nice long neck. Push the belly into the spine, the spine into the roller. Feet are flat, knees are bent, and we're going to walk those feet in about hip distance apart. And then we're going to reach both arms up to the sky, relax your shoulders, and you're going to reach the right arm overhead, left arm to the hip. Really lengthen through the spine, push that belly in, pelvic tilt, and then rotate the opposite way. Left arm overhead, right hand to the hip, and then repeat, alternating those arms. Just loosening things up. It feels like a massage between the shoulder blades. And this is really going to help just open up that chest, helps your mobility and flexibility in the upper body. One more, and then we're going to bring both arms up to the sky. We're going to open wide like a T, and then bring the arms across the body like you're giving yourself a hug and then open wide again, and then cross the arms like you're giving yourself a hug, and then open wide. One more time each way. Cross and then open. Last one, cross the opposite arm on top, and then open wide. Palms are up, backs of the hands are on the floor, and then sweep the arms overhead behind you, I want backs of the hands along the floor and then sweep them down around like you're doing that snow angel. And then up and back. Keeping the belly in, keeping your support, the lower body on the roller and then reach up. One more time. Now this time as you go up, we're going to start to bring the arms, the back of the hands to the floor. Bend the elbows this time instead. Bring the thumbs towards the shoulders and then open the arms long to the side out like a T. Keep them out there, but just bend the elbows and bring the thumbs towards the shoulders. So you're bending and straightening at the elbows. Really stretching out as well through the biceps. See if you can reach the arms as far out to the side as a T, but not touch the floor and then bend the elbows, keeping the hands off the floor to get a little bit of an extra stretch through that chest wall into those biceps. Reach, reach, reach. Last one, in. And then this time, straighten the arms. Let the elbows soften and let your hands go to the floor. Now try to keep your hands as close to the floor as possible as you start to bend your elbows slowly, coming to cactus arms. Maybe your elbows drift to about shoulder level and just hold the arms out to the side, elbows bent, pull your shoulders away from the ears. Maybe your hands can go to the floor, maybe they're not there. And just notice the difference if you're feeling a pull in the right or left side of the chest more. Then from here, let your left ear drop towards the left side of the roller or tilt your head to the left and then slowly Draw your head to the right, and then back to center. Take a deep breath in, and then as you exhale, pull the elbows down and flip the hands over and place the palms on the floor next to the body. You might feel a little bit of a whoosh in the shoulders and chest area, and we're going to lift the chin and you're going to slide off the side of the roller. Good. And we're going to bring that roller behind us and sit up nice and tall. A couple of shoulder rolls. Let's just check in with our posture now that our upper body is so nice and loose. Chin in alignment, ears over shoulders, shoulders over hips. Take a deep breath, inhale, reach those arms. Exhale, palms to heart space. Thank you so much for joining me. Namaste.